So, Nusha. She's one of those characters that you either love her or you hate her. And I'm on the side of loving her. I absolutely adore Nusha. But despite me loving Nusha, she hurts me. She hurts me in a big way. I have been maining her for the past few days just to kind of get the hang of her, learn her moveset, basically relearn her because I used to be decent with her. Kind of fell out of practice because I got more into playing Warden and some other characters. But I've been trying to get back into her and I've learned something very quickly. Nusha is no longer a meta character. She's not the weakest character in the roster by far, but she's definitely not a good character. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So when Nusha was first revealed, I was super excited for it because I was really excited for the Wu Lin in general. But I think of all the Wu Lin that were being announced, Shaolin was the one I was most excited about, but Nusha was definitely one I really wanted because the hook swords, for one thing, are a really cool, really well, honestly, bizarre Chinese weapon, but I love the way they're uh, applied. I love the way that they can be uh, used. And, of course, you've seen them in pop culture. I mean, if you've watched Avatar The Last Airbender, you've, of course, seen them. And you've seen them in other works as well. But I was really, really excited to get to try out Nusha. And after she released, she caused, well, I mean, all the Wulin caused some controversy. But she especially caused controversy because many people argued that her moveset, her big niche, her trap attacks were just breaking the game and they proved that Ubisoft just wants to ruin this game and blah blah blah. Now I never saw it that way. I thought her trap attacks were actually really neat. And for those who do not understand what that means, I will try to explain it to you in the best way I possibly can. Nusia is the only character in the game who has access to a type of move called a trap attack. And how this works is this. Normally when an opponent throws a raw heavy, there are a few options that that warrior can do. If I throw a raw heavy, I can either follow through with the attack and try to land it, or I can try to feint it and either guard break or just stand there or what have you. In most circumstances, that is the limit of what a character can do. But Nusha has access to another move. If she hits the guard break button midway through the heavy attack, it will change properties into a trap attack. If the opponent facing the trap attack has their guard matching the side that the attack is coming from, or they try to parry or crush and counter that trap attack, the trap attack will disregard the block, parry, or uh, crush and counter and deal damage. And Nusha can then free flow into her next light or movement. So it's a very strong way to deal with people who block or parry on command. In my opinion, it's one of the best ways to deal with crush and counter folks or light parriers. Nusha is very, very good at that. And I think that that's one thing that made a lot of people hate her because they thought that, you know, the game teaches you, oh, you see an attack coming from the right, then you better block to the right. You see an attack coming from the top, you better block to the top. You know, you were taught to block attacks. Nusha counters that play style and a lot of people were very upset with it. And maybe that's why back in the day when I mained her for a while, I was very good with her because I could do a lot of that mind game play where I mess with people's um, expectations and do those really cool trap attacks. But here, here's the catch. I think that what's changed is a lot of top tier players, and for some reason I have been ending up with a lot of top tier comp level players in my matches, they just know the right ways to deal with her. There are clever ways to deal with a Nusha trying to use trap attacks. For one thing, dodge attacks are a brilliant way to deal with her because whether it's a trap attack or a normal heavy, a dodge attack will counter it. The only way to deal with that is to cancel out the heavy altogether and just do a, a parry on the dodge attack. And sometimes you won't expect that. Another good counter is to bash out of it. Whether they're throwing a heavy, a trap, or what have you, you can just bash them out of it. And since so many characters have bashes out of neutral now, it's pretty easy to do. And then of course you can also just um, guard break. Guard break is a good way to do it. And then I've also seen Black Priors who just go into their into their riposte. They just drop down into their uh, drop down. like And whether it's a heavy, you will get flipped. If it's a trap, it doesn't do anything. So there are lots of answers to the Nusha dilemma now that some people know about, some people don't. And that can make it very difficult because other than the trap attack, Nusha doesn't have a whole lot to her kit that helps her in 4v4s. Note that I said in 4v4s. As a duelist, I think Nusha is still pretty strong. I think her heavies do a lot of damage. I think the fact that her zone can go into a really strong tap attack, trap attack is awesome. I think that her lights are pretty stinking quick and her combos are pretty solid. The problem that Nusha has is she doesn't have anything to help her. Like, for example, she doesn't have an opener. She doesn't have a good opener to help her open up an uh, a warrior who's just really good at evading or dodging or turtling. She does not have any unblockable or undodgeable. So she cannot try to bait with a 50-50 other than with her trap. And like I said before, 
there are lots of ways to deal with the trap now, and she doesn't have any way to catch an opponent who's just really dodge happy. And sometimes I do feel like the tracking with her heavies is really bizarre. For example, I've had it where I'll whiff a heavy and the opponent dodges because they assume it's a trap attack, but I think, ah, you dodged so I can catch you with my heavy now, but they could completely avoided it. I'm like, how did you, how did you do that? You know, th there are moments where I genuinely do feel like it just hurts. I'm not saying that Nusha is in the bad place she used to be because there was a time where Nusha was the only character with a deflect that wasn't guaranteed. Like you could parry her deflect. It was really weird. They've changed that. Now her deflect is guaranteed, thankfully. Um, but honestly, there are times where Nusha just feels really, really hard to play. Not again, not because I don't like her, but because I feel like in the current meta of For Honor, so many characters, especially the top tier characters, have so many answers to anything she has to offer. Like, you look at Afira, you look at Ocelot, you look at Jormungandr, you look at Orochi, these are all these meta characters who can counter just about any kind of play Nusha has to offer, which just means, and of course everyone's going to say, well, just light parry. I'm not good at light parrying, I've never been good at light parrying, so that does put me at a slight disadvantage. I admit that, but it is just... Ugh, it's rough. It's very rough sometimes. But does that mean that I dislike Nusha? Not at all. I still love her. And the times where I can... It's really weird. When I play Nusha, I will either have a really, really good match where I am just dominating the matches. I'm just really kicking butt. I'm making the right reads. I'm playing the right way. But then it's either that or I'm having a match where I am getting destroyed. Everyone knows the right counterplay against Nusha. I get ganked and surrounded. Because that's the thing about Nusha. Her feats and her style of fighting do best in 1v1 situations. They even said when Nusha was released that her whole modus operandi is to isolate warriors and then punish them. The problem is she's not good at that anymore given the way that 4v4s work. 4v4s are now all about ganking and counter ganking. Well, Nusha can't really gank very well. She is not strong in the gank. She does not have hyper armor with which to trade. She cannot do crushing counters with which to counter in a person's attack. Again, all she really has are her trap attacks, which really only work when she's up against a one-on-one -on -one opponent. Plus, her trap attacks don't have hyper armor either, so they can easily be countered by someone else coming in to save their buddy. So really, in 4v4 situations, Nusha struggles in a big way. Now, you might think, well, what about her feats? Don't they help her? Well, some of them do. Her first feat makes it so that she gains attack power if she's isolated from everyone else. Again, that's hard to do in the 4v4 meta that we have now. Her second, pe her second feat is um, Caltrops, which caused damage to her, uh, no, sorry, caused damage to her allies, to her enemies, and to minions for a brief period while people walk around on them. The problem is they do so little damage that most players who have full health will take the risk of just standing in them and fighting you normally. So it's not gonna do a whole lot of good. Usually you wanna drop those on the minion lane to do damage to the minions. Uh, her third feat is a feat that allows her to slow down an opponent so that they can't sprint away. And that's helpful to keep someone from running away. But again, with the ganking meta going on, very rarely will you have to use that. And then finally, the fourth feat is a corruption feat, which can corrupt one person that she can lock onto, which sounds good until you realize a Warmonger already does it, but better. Because Warmonger's feats not only allow her to do it to one person, but she can do it to multiple people, and she can heal based on how people being corrupted and get taking damage. So really, Nusha's feats are both outdated and do not do well in the 4v4 meta. They just do not help her very well. There was a time they were OP. They actually had to nerf her Caltrop feet a little bit. But otherwise, I feel like she is just not able to keep up with the other higher tier meta characters, especially in 4v4 settings. In duels, she's still okay. I'd say if I were to make a tier list of dual characters, I know I'm not Havoc or Bean, but if I were to make a tier list, I would put her somewhere in the B category, maybe B or C. She's not bad. She's definitely on the higher end of average, I would argue. But compared to other warriors that can just bash very easily out of neutral, have hyper armor with which to trade, can safely counterplay, like it, it, she has a rough time. I feel like now some people are gonna say, "Oh, dude, you're just you're kidding me, right?" I've gone against these nooshes that are just so good, and there are some really good nooshes out there. Hiya, break and run. You, you come to mind right away. But, like, I'm just not as good at the Nusha gameplay. I really need to get better. That's why I've been practicing. Plus, I'm working on my Nusha's legend, which I'm really happy to reveal. I hope you guys like the way my Nusha looks, by the way. It took some time to make her look that good. And I even played pretty well as her against Havoc. For those of you who watched me joining in on Havoc's Fight Club, I did pretty well on that Fight Club playing Nusha. So, honestly, I'm... I'll be real, I'm not going to sit here and say that Nusha's garbage. Not at all. She's definitely no Lawbringer. Okay, Lawbringer's garbage. Nusha's anything but Lawbringer. 
The problem that I see with Nutsha is that there was a time she was a god-tier duelist, now she's struggling to keep up. I feel like she needs something. I don't know what. Don't ask me. I'm not a me I'm not a guy who's very good with mechanics in this game. Um, but maybe like an undodgeable at some point. Like maybe an undodgeable to catch those dodge spammers. Maybe instead of focusing so much on lights, maybe we could focus more on, you know, increasing her deflect. Or like something along those lines. Maybe make it so that uh Maybe give her some hyper armor on something. Maybe some hyper armor on her trap attack so that they can't be interrupted. Because we did that with Warden doing his uh, bash. Like, in his bash, when he does his light or heavy follow-up, he has hyper armor. Maybe do the same thing with Nusha. If she lands a trap attack, give her hyper armor. That, that could be something you could do to kind of help her trade those blows a bit. But otherwise, I just feel like she's not able to compete in 4v4s as well as others. I'm not saying she can't. I'm saying she struggles, plus her dodge light attack is super easy to read most of the time, so most people are able to see it coming very easily. So, I don't know. She needs something. She needs some help. I'm not going to sit here and say I know exactly what that is, but honestly, I'll say this. I think this is the best way I can sum it up. I love playing Nusha. I love designing Nusha. I love using Nusha, and I love writing for Nusha as I'm doing now. Playing Nusha, though, can be its own struggle. It can be its own cross to bear, which is a shame. I really, really like her. I think she's a really cool character. She's got a great design, really cool weapons, and a very niche style of fighting with her trap attacks. She's probably one of the only characters in the game who can throw a, you know, default heavy, just a basic heavy, and actually have a chance of landing it without much trouble because most players are trying to think, oh, is she going to trap attack or not? Lower tier players are going to struggle against Nusha, but comp players, top tier players like the kinds I keep ending up against, read her like a book. Like, they really do. It can be very, very frustrating. Um, but that's what I have to say about Nusha. That's where I stand with her. I adore her, but I'm, I feel like she needs something. Either that or I just need more work on her, either one. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy the video. What do you guys think about Nusha? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care.